Hey everybody, we're bringing you a special one today. This 1968 Orange Chevelle has been meticulously restored inside and out. And uh, you just have to see this car sit behind the wheel to appreciate it. What do you think of this one, D? I love it. Um, right at first, first thing you notice on this car is that orange color with that white pinstripe. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's a car you can't just walk by. It reaches out and grabs you. Um, another key takeaway with this car is the four speed. Um, definitely nice to have. We haven't had a four speed car in a while, so good to be back down the wheel with four speed. Exactly. One thing I like about this car is they didn't go ahead and make this an SS clone. They left this 100% Malibu, except for they put the Super Sport hood on it, which I like that. Yeah. I mean, it just gives it a great look. If you look up and down the sides of this car, it's super straight. Um, another couple more things I'm going to point out. Uh, please go to our website. You are not going to believe the restoration quality of the undercarriage. All the correct markings on this car. Inside the trunk, it's got the correct markings in there as well. On all four of the drums, it's got all the right markings. On the firewall, I mean, whoever restored this just went all out. So just as, yeah, M21 back there, transmission markings, it's just, it's something you don't see very often. So whoever restored this did a fantastic job. Um, a no expense spared restoration, really. The, the guy built the car exactly the way he wanted it. You know, and that's what's cool about these cars. So everyone puts just a little bit of their own taste in this, this one. The guy put the SS hood on it, um, you know, did the side uh, decal on it. Other than that, he just left it 100% straight, small block, four speed Malibu. Um, another thing though is he did add air conditioning. And I love when people do that, so we don't have to do it here. I know. It's Air conditioning cool. is an absolute pain in the butt to do, guys. Um, this uh, vintage air on this car is done beautifully also, and uh, it blows ice cold. So it does have power steering. That's the most important thing. Drum brakes, but as we drive this, we'll show you just how well this drum brake car stops. Absolutely show quality under the hood. You can pop the hood at any car show, man, and uh, people are going to be drawn to this car. People always ask, without having pictures of the restoration or receipts, how do you know the quality that something was done? Um, it's actually such an easy answer. You look around the edges, uh, the door jams, under the hood, the inner fenders, um, the little clips they use. I mean, all that stuff tells you that whether it's a good car, what quality of work was done. A good car or an excellent car. And this one is an That's excellent right. car. There you go. It's a great point, Dalton. Like I said, all those little markings and stuff, I mean, that's just not, it's done on maybe 1% of the restoration. Seriously. I mean, that tells you how the work was done. Yeah, somebody went to a lot of work to make this car excellent. Um, the front bumper is just in the grill. The whole front end of this car is spectacular. Um, that's a good word for this whole car, isn't it? As we go across the top of the hood to the top of the uh, fender, it's excellent. Very nice gap there. The SS hood fits on there very nicely. A little black bug there. There's just a little bit of trace here, a buffing compound sail, which that will come off, but it's right along the edges. Again, I'm being very fussy with it, but really nice gaps on both sides of the hood. Whoever gets this car, guys, is just going to be pleasantly surprised. I mean, the paint is beautiful, the stance is great, restoration quality, interior is even better yet. We haven't even got there yet. As far as our gap on the door, really nice even gap from top to bottom. Bottom quality of the lower fender and rocker and door, all that is super clean. Grandpa was down here yesterday helping us arrange the lot. Yeah. Uh, we were moving the Chevelle and he came up with a good nickname. What's that? Orange Crush, he called it. Oh, Orange Crush. Yeah. Yep. Grandpa, this is a third generation business, guys. So, you know, my dad uh, was in the classic car business and uh, we started, I started my own company. Me and my wife did and now Dalton's working for us. So, three generations in the classic car business and we all still love it. As we go over here to the top of the roof, the roof is laser straight. I don't see a ripple or an imperfection anywhere in that roof. And listen to that 350. It's got 327 markings on it, 350 motor. Um, and here we go again. It's got the little two markings on the license plate bracket. Now that is, I mean, that's crazy. Inside and out. That's very cool. 
got the right stoppers on there. I mean, again, this ain't your, this ain't a driver quality car. This is a, a show quality car that has been driven a little bit. You know what I mean? This ain't your driver restoration. Um, as far as the uh, rear chrome of the bumpers is excellent. Uh, tail light trim, uh, trim around that. It's a good combination of original and a little bit replaced uh, as far as below the trunk lid there. But the paint body is beautiful on it. Behind the rear wheel is excellent. Uh, tire tread is in great shape. We got great tires here. We got 225, 70, 15 BFGs. Um, it's got the nice uh, vintage American racing rims on it. I like the choice of wheels too. Um, really kind of ties into that whole era and with the markings. And exactly, kind of that Yanko, that yeah. era. Exactly. Did you point out that those only imperfections that we've found so far, um, real hard to see? You have to be at the right light, but we seen it as someone that was on the hoist. There's some solvent pop in the paint, like right here, just a few little spots, little clusters right there. I don't know what caused that, guys, but uh, the paint job on this car right, is just absolutely gorgeous, other than that. Um, the exterior handles are in good shape. The rubbers are in good shape there. Um, when they did the restoration, the door jams was cleared and painted just as nice as the exterior of the body. I mean, it's just gorgeous on the jams. No expense spared on the restoration on the interior either. Um, the 68s have a beautiful chrome rib here that was all replaced. Just a great job. They went with the highest quality uh, belts too. As we go in here on the door jams, I mean, you can just tell the fenders, the doors, everything was taken apart, properly jammed and painted, and then all put back together. The bottom of the front fender, you can see the lips in here. No Bondo, no nothing, guys. Just beautiful, crisp, clear lips. Check these hinges out. I mean, this door looks like it's hardly been open, you know? I mean, a lot of times, even when they paint the hinges, they're all chipped off and it's torn off. Great. That's a great point. Um, we do have the original door handle and window crank here on the top because you have just a little bit of pitting in there. Now, tinted glass, we're going to go ahead and roll this up. And the windows roll up and down great. You can tell all of those are all out of the tracks, guys. Redone, all new felts, everything. But it's got a real deep tint, and I'll get a picture of that. So I said vintage air, guys, but it is the classic auto air is what it is. Okay, we'll get that going here. Um, temperature gauge works, Sun Pro gauge, oil gauge works. Got 45 pounds of oil pressure. Uh, beautiful Hurst four speed in here. Tell the uh, air conditioner just kicked in, dropped our RPMs down to about 600. Um, horn works, shows 51,112 miles. The dash pad is excellent. The paint behind the dash pad is all high quality black. Um, you can tell the uh, new windshield was installed, the dash was all painted, and then uh, everything put back together. All these new plastic and rubber pieces are new. Uh, new visors. This is new here as far as our clips and stuff. Uh, wood grain wheel. The quali quality of the steering column is fantastic as well. The air just started blowing ice cold right here. Um, Kick panels are new. I think you guys can kind of hear by the excitement of my voice. I just absolutely love this car. I love the color. I love the interior. <laughs> Everything. Dome light works great. There's no stretch marks on the headliner at all. Uh, it's got the seat belts in the back for three. The door panels are all new. All the trim around the back sail panels, uh, back window, the rear balance, all that is new. Basically the whole damn car is new. There we go. So this gives you just a little more look of, of what it looks like with that tinted glass. Now, if you don't like the tinted glass, it can come right off as well. So, but it just gives it that badass American muscle car. I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna rub it up a little bit, D. So it's got a nice throaty sound to it. Nice chrome tips at just a good angle coming down there. We've got some condensation. Go ahead, D. That sounds awesome. We already kind of 
kind of talked about it, but the rear bumper, the trunk lid fits excellent all the way across down here. Lines up very nice all the way across the back. I mean, not that many 68s. I mean, 68 is a one year only car. You know, 69, they make quite a few changes. So um, 68 is just a kind of a one-off car. Basically all the Chevelles were in those eras, but uh, just a fantastic looking one. There's one tiny little chip right here, guys, that's been touched up, filled in. Another tiny little chip. Tiny little chip. Right there. <laughs> Come on, man. All right. That just shows you the quality of car. You know what I mean? Right. We're pointing out yeah, stuff no, like that. that's, and we want to point those out, but that's pretty small. All right, so the body is awesome, guys. Um, we'll get behind the wheel and take this thing for a drive here in a second. I love when you open up a door and the freaking paint. God, we were talking about that the other day. Quality on these cars. I don't know why people do such a half-assed job at Nordhams on nice cars. You know, why can't they just they do this? You know, this is great work right here. And like I was mentioning before, I mean, there's there's some things that you can look at and tell right away the quality of the restoration. And door jams is one of them. It's the first thing I look at when I'm looking at a car to buy. Exactly right. You know, if that's all tacky, you don't really have to look much further in a lot of cases. You know, this driver's side is just as nice as the passenger. You can see it behind that front fender door jams. Even here, guys, look at the quality of the, I don't know if it'll come through, but the quality of the paint on the dash um, and the dash applique, all of that is excellent. Seat backs, they were replaced. They're not the old seat backs that are scuffed up. They're brand new, new cores. These seats got good cushion. This too. is damn near got to be almost one of the, my favorite cars on the lot right now. <laughs> I think so too, and honestly, I think being able to get to sp spend a little more time with it doing this video really, well, really it sells us awesome. on. It really does. Here's the thing, guys, and I and I say this to our customers: you can't judge a car by its price and the the one picture. You have to look deeper. Like you were mentioning in the door jams, the quality under the hood, the undercarriage. You know, there's a big difference between a twenty thousand dollar car and a fifty thousand dollar car. Really or a hundred, right? Yeah. I mean, no matter where you go, I mean, you can buy a, a 68 Chevelle for 20000 bucks, And you'll still have fun with it. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with it. But I don't say nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with owning one like that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, if you want something nicer, more dependable, something you don't have to touch and do anything to, you're going to spend more money. That's how it goes. All right. So, tachometer works. Um, we got our aftermarket gauges here, and they both work perfectly because we have our factory lights up here, okay? Um, air conditioning, man, that feels great. Mm -hmm. We got our tinted windows up. Air conditioning's going ice cold. Our yeah, idle is awesome right now. It's got that tack. I like that as well. Let's just see how this thing performs. I love the Hurst shifter, the boot. I mean, I love a taller shifter like this one. Yeah, we have a 69 nice. Nova right now with that shorter shifter. It's just not as fun to drive. The, absolutely, like I said before, I love the color. Oh, you don't see too many in this. Whoever orange. gets this car is going to be just so happy. With Tickled that thing. Gun. Yeah, seriously. Oh, well, those drum brakes work. Here we go. <laughs> they <laughs> stop. Yep, they they stop perfect too. So here's another thing, guys. Just quality of the car. We just hit the brakes and the drum brakes, they stop perfectly straight. Look where our steering wheel is at. Straight. Perfectly straight. Yeah. It's kind of something we like to look for. And if it's not, we always fix them for our customers. And not every not every car we sell is is this quality either. No. Um, and there's nothing. Every wrong car is with different. It. Exactly. Man, 
and this runs like a big block. It's a fourth gear scratch. Not beating on it, just taking it to about 3,500 RPMs, but it is just so smooth. Um, right here, the uh, um, speedometer saying 60 mile an hour, guys, 55. They're down to third, fourth. Um, as far as our RPMs go, we're doing about 2,000 RPMs at 50 mile an hour. So, nice. if you guys want to go ahead and uh, check out our website, website. Um, coyoteclassics.com, such a sweet Chevelle. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram.